Hey guys, Megan Fox here. I just uh, came across this article about Cynthia Nixon explaining, trying to explain, it was on People and it said, I can't talk. Cynthia Nixon defends how Miranda treats her husband, Steve, on and just like that. And instead of reading you this article, I'm actually going to play Cynthia Nixon in this interview. And hopefully I won't get struck for this, but we'll see. The first uh, question is, how do you think they handled the story of Samantha? I thought it was great. I'm of course she does. She thinks everything about this show is great. I mean, I have to say, I love how we um, addressed it like head on in the first minute. Me too. And then I <laughs> come on. Me too. Uh. Loved how there began to be layers of it. Like there's the yes. person. There's the thing you tell Bitsy von Muffling, and then you you told Bitsy von Muffling that she was dead. You you let her think she was dead for a few minutes. That was not nice. There's the way you talk about it amongst each other. Right. And I have to say, you know, spoiler alert for any of you who haven't seen it yet, but I felt like the flowers at the funeral were just, you know. Hey, by the way, um, Cynthia looks great here. Can we just, can I just comment on how good she looks? Why couldn't Miranda look like this? Did you see what she was wearing? I don't I don't hate this at all. I love it. That skirt or whatever with all the big bright colors peeping out is like, really cool. I love how we, you know, keep keep checking in with her from time to time. I love that. Yes. Look at that skirt. That is so cool. How come she can't look like this on the show? She looks very put together here. That's like a knit of some kind. It's very expensive. And her hair looks so good without that awful wig. Why couldn't Miranda have had short hair? like this i will never forgive them for what they did to this character i just get so mad when i see her look how young she looks look how good she looks she looks 20 years younger as cynthia nixon than she does as miranda hobbs why have they done this <laughs> to our characters okay this gets better is che diaz's comedy funny <laughs> I and Miranda think it is. Okay. No, she doesn't. Look at this liar. These are lies. Big lies. Um, she doesn't look like she thinks it's funny. And she realizes that none of us think it's funny. I and Miranda think it's funny. I don't believe you. You sit on a throne of lies. Hey, okay. Do you understand why fans are so upset about the characters of about Steve's treatment? Yeah, in justice this new for iteration? Steve. I do, but I have to say that um, that's the thing about breakups. You know, oftentimes there's one person that is having making the breakup happen, and the other person who is reluctant. But I have to say, um, that person who is reluctant is pretty miserable too, and they're. Uh no, stop. Steve was not miserable. He was loving his little life and your dessert thing and the chia seeds, although chia she seeds are bullshit. Um, but he was loving that. And no, I don't think he was miserable. That's ridiculous. No. Just not admitting it. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're supposed to believe that Steve is not admitting that he was miserable. Actually, though, now that I think about it, Steve should be miserable because Miranda has been a total bitch to him forever how is it possible that steve wouldn't know how to finger <laughs> i think uh it's been a while okay <laughs> is charlotte's daughter lily the real villain in the sex oh. in the city universe she ruined <laughs> carrie's wedding and maybe killed big we all know that this is true this is absolutely true I have no comment. Boom! Uh, general thoughts Boom. on- Boom! No comment because it's true. The Miranda alcoholism storyline. Well, you notice what I'm, I'm story having line? a non-alcoholic right, beverage right, today. Yes. I think it would have been a little dangerous. Yes. I, I love it. I mean, I, I have to say, you know, a lot of us were drinking more than we should Yeah, have yeah. I also loved it that she- This next part is so stupid. He says uh, he loves it that she just quit cold turkey. Like, that's really not how most alcoholics go through it. I think the alcoholism storyline was total bullshit because it was like a nothing burger. It was like nothing for her to quit. She was this big alcoholic. I mean, so much so that she was bringing vodka and Tito's and stuff with her in her purse, like airplane sized <laughs> bottles in her purse and chugging vodka before events and stopping at bars at 1045 in the morning. And we're supposed to believe that she just quit. It's a pretty heavy drinking problem to just 
back off on no shakes, no, no withdrawal. Yeah. We don't really believe you. This is silly. She immediately, she was like, Oh wow. I do have a problem. And she like, yeah, did it. Yeah. Um, all right. Thank you very much. Oh God. Anyway, I thought you should see that. Um, because <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm really bummed that they, that she looks this good. I mean, look how good she looks. She looks young and her makeup is done well. What are they doing to Miranda with that black eyeliner and the black shadow making her look like a crypt keeper when, she, when Cynthia Nixon looks like this? Look at that fantastic haircut. She looks really good. This is, I, I will never forgive them. This is just, it's unforgivable what they have done. Let's look at how Cynthia looks in the show. Uh, yikes. Why are they doing this to her? And why is she allowing it? It's like they hate this character. Ugh, God. Let me know in the comments below what you think about those, about what her, her little appearance there and how she looks um, in real life versus how they're making her out to look in the show. Am I wrong? But doesn't she look like a totally different person? Ugh. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. Talk to you later.